In the previous video, we learned how to use the M5 stack display and recreate the DU debouncing logo. In this video, we will be learning how to use a button and speaker to create a kitchen timer. These are all the items you will need. First, let's see how this kitchen timer works. There are three buttons and a display in the speaker, just like the 5 stack. The left button lets you set the minutes in one minute increment. The middle button lets you set the seconds in one second increment. Long pressing either button will speed up the counter. The right button lets you start the counter. When the time has elapsed, the alarm will sound. We can press any button to stop the alarm. We can also stop the timer manually during the countdown and resume the countdown by pressing the same button again. Finally, by pressing the minute and second buttons together, we can reset the timer to zero. Let's see how we can implement all this in our code. We will need the timer to keep running in one of the following modes at a time. The first mode will be the default state when the timer is powered up. In this mode, the timer should be waiting for the user input, showing the current set time amount, and being able to start the countdown. We will call this idle mode. The second mode is when the timer is counting down. We will call this countdown mode. The third mode is the ring mode, where it will be automatically activated when the countdown reaches zero. First, we will need to include the M5 stack library. Next, we will initialize the counter variables and the modes required. In the setup function, we will set the text size, cursor position, and display the colon. Then set the starting mode to idle. Inside the loop function, we will first click the state of the buttons and display the seconds and minutes. Next, we will take a look at each of the switch cases. The first one will be the idle mode. In this mode, we should be able to set, reset the timer and start the countdown. In order to build our timer like the one I have here, we will have a total of 6 cases here. This is the code. Next, the countdown mode. These are the conditions we'll need inside you. Putting it into code. Finally, the remote. These are the conditions we'll need inside you. Putting it into code. We are done with the coding part. Let's upload the code to the M5 stack and see how it works. That's all for this video. Let us know what you would like to see next. See you in the next video.